everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a video about all the different types of men's fragrances. In my opinion, I think there are about 10 different types or categories of men's fragrances. And I know that on this channel we mainly talk about women's fragrances, but I thought it could be helpful to do this video a, for women who are, you know, looking to buy a fragrance for a man, but also to help men understand how the perfume world works for male fragrances and, you know, where their preferences might lie and the sort of spectrum of different types. I think you can fit pretty much all men's fragrances into about 10 different categories. If you are new here, then this channel is all about perfumes. I have hundreds of other videos, so do check them all out. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed, then do hit that subscribe subscribe button, show your support. And as always, I will leave links down below in the description to where you can buy all these perfumes in UK, Europe and USA. And I wanted to say a big thank you to Santa Lucia who have sponsored this video and inspired me to make this video on men's fragrances. And I'm gonna be featuring three of their brand new fragrances in this video that fit into three of the categories. Just to clarify before we go into the sort of 10 different types, there's also different strengths of fragrance. So the weakest type is called a cologne. Um, this is something that you'd perhaps spray loads of. It's very light, perhaps for hot weather. You've then got Eau de Toilette. You've then got Eau de Parfum. Sometimes there are Eau de Parfum Intense, which have a little bit more perfume in. And then you've got Parfum. So not Eau de, just pure Parfum. And that's the strongest type. And basically, as you go up, they have more of the perfume oil in. So they're stronger, they're gonna last longer. They're gonna have stronger projection. Most men's fragrances are Eau de Toilette. When you talk about an aftershave, that is a bottle that doesn't have a spray, it's just an open lid, so you'd splash it on your hands and men might put it on their face after they've shaved, and that is a lighter fragrance. The eau de toilette or eau de parfums in the spray are stronger. So the first category I'm gonna talk about is aromatic. So aromatic comes from the words um, like aromatherapy, and it is referring to sort of herbally ingredients and quite green ingredients. So a very common ingredient which will make a perfume aromatic is lavender. There may be some woody notes underneath, but predominantly you're gonna get a herbal or a lavender note as the main note. So these are the three new fragrances from Santa Lucia and their Come Closer perfume is an aromatic perfume. So you can see that these perfumes are very high end. They are pure perfumes. They're not Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, they're a Parfum. So they're very strong. I've been trying these out and literally my whole apartment smells of fragrance. So that Parfum is gonna be about a 20% concentrate. 20% is the perfume oil, which is very high. And these are made in France. So this one, Come Closer, I think is a very classic aromatic smell. It has some rose in here. I really get that French lavender smell. And then a, you know, sandalwood masculine base. I don't know if you've ever been to France, to Provence, where you can really smell this aromatic smell, like everywhere you go with the lavender fields and the different, you know, herbs and bushes and everything growing around there. This really is like that male version of those female lavendery smells like L'Occitane. The name Come Closer kind of implies that this is quite a sensual fragrance, sort of date night smell. I can, I think this is quite intimate. It really reminds me of sort of men's products that perhaps they've used after they've had a shower when they're getting ready to go out. That sort of fresh manly smell. So I can see definitely how this would work for date night. I have to say guys, these are very, very strong, intense perfumes. If you really want something heavy, then these are definitely it. So the next fragrance category um, group for men, I think is citrus fragrances. So of course these are fragrances which have strong lemony, bergamot, perhaps an orangey smell. And I think there are two brands which are amazing for these 
um, Aqua de Palma and Atelier Cologne. I have videos on both of these for their women's fragrances. They both have a lot of unisex fragrances and Aqua de Palma Colonia, their signature scent, is a really lemony, bergamot, sort of Italian, fresh fragrance. Even though it's unisex, I personally think it is quite masculine because it has aromatic undertones. It has some lavender and some sage, like a rosemary, though mainly it is a citrus smell. And they have all different versions of this, like a stronger version, a spicier version. They have so many versions and then you can get really good quality um, products that go with it, like uh, shaving balms and shower gels and all different like really nice products. When I used to work selling perfume, I used to recommend Aqua de Palma a lot. If you're looking for something a bit high end, really special, not something that's sold everywhere or super mainstream, but something that's really good quality, classy sort of Italian brand, you could get a whole package, you know, for a gift or something, the fragrance and the other products. And I think they do gift sets and stuff. And I just thought it was a really good solid brand for male gifting. And the Colonia one, yeah, is very lemony. And then in Atelier Cologne, so these are Cologne. So these are much lighter. They're the type of thing you can spray sort of 10 times and it wouldn't be too much. So these I think are more for like a hotter weather, hotter climate. And they have so many, they have orangey ones, lemony ones. I have done a video on the female ones. Well, they're unisex and I covered a lot of the citrus ones, so I'll leave that link down below. So the next category I think is a oceanic, aquatic, watery category. Um, very, very fresh. This is probably the lightest type of men's fragrance. My top recommendation for this is from Maison Margiela in their replica range, and it's called Sailing Day. So these perfumes, the, they're unisex as well, and the idea is that they are creating a real life smell and I used to do sailing when I was um, at school a little bit and this totally smells like when you're on a little boat you know out on a lake or at sea and the wind's in your hair and it's this fresh it smells like water. I know water doesn't have a smell, but it smells like water. Um, and it's this lovely blue bottle and it just absolutely does smell like a sailing day for sure. So this is definitely for someone that wants that fresh outdoors feeling. There are loads of other perfumes, especially like versions of perfumes. So you get things like um, Calvin Klein Eternity Aqua, you know, things that are called O Fresh or Aqua versions of the original tend to have this oceanic watery vibe to them as well. So the next category I think is a peppery perfume. So black pepper. And for this, the yellow one from Santa Lucia, Too Conquering. Um, this one is inspired by your sort of businessman, CEO type vibe. I think pepper is quite a strong ingredient. You are gonna want something like really, like an occasion that's where you really want to have a, quite a powerful smell for a peppery fragrance. This one has all different types of pepper in here and an undertone of patchouli, which is a really strong green herbal flowery fragrance. I love patchouli in women's perfume. This one is definitely the strongest of the three. You really get the pepperiness. I can smell this. I tried it on my skin and it's so, 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 so strong. I can see why these sell out so fast. I think when they released their first fragrance, it sold out in like two hours or something. So these are, and then they didn't bring it back. So hopefully these won't, you know, sell out completely at first, but you never know. So yeah, peppery, I'd say definitely is a perfume for that strong occasion. You really wanna be, you know, people to smell you. You want to have like that power suit fragrance and that kind of leads me on to spicy fragrances which again tend to have the pepperiness in 
but there might be other spicy notes in there. There's even things like chili in some perfumes. Vetiver can be quite spicy as well. At the moment, I think the biggest, most successful seller for men's fragrance is from Dior and it's their Sauvage perfume with Johnny Depp as the face of the fragrance. There's quite a few different versions of this now, but the original is like a fresh, spicy scent. So it has some fresh bergamot, it has pepper in, um, it has lavender in, but overall it sort of comes over as fresh spicy. So that's definitely the most popular one at the moment. I know so many men that have this. I think it's quite a safe buy. People just tend to like it. So if you're looking for something that's just safe, and of course it has the Dior name, then this is a definitely safe buy. So that kind of leads me on to um, the very herbal fragrances. Um, this is kind of like aromatic, but even more herbal. And there's a new one from Yves Saint Laurent, which is called Why. I have a little sample of it here. So this is majoring in things like sage, juniper berries, ginger, geranium. I think it's actually a really nice smell, this. I like this as a new release. Um, it has tonka bean in underneath as well, which is nice because tonka bean is a very warm fragrance. It kind of feels like a, a hug. Um, I tend to associate tonka bean with winteriness. Um, so I think this would be a good nighttime or wintry autumn fragrance. And I think it's quite universal as well. So it has these herbally notes in, which are very, very masculine, but it's not too heavy it's an eau de toilette so my next category is woody perfumes and there is definitely one perfume which i always would recommend when someone wanted a woody perfume and that's by a brand called d squared they are they're not a niche brand they're sold in quite a lot of places but perhaps they're not as well known as some designers and they have one simply called wood and this really does smell like wood. It's like they've taken all the different woody notes and just put them all in this perfume. So it's very masculine. It's kind of like out in the forest, chopping wood type smell. If you really like those woody notes, and then d squared wood is definitely the ultimate woody perfume and then they also have one which i think is a good example of another category which is green perfumes so these are sort of outdoorsy um trees you know the smell of greenery like fur is a common ingredient cedar wood and they have one called d squared wood green um and that's a really good example of that as well so my next category is oriental perfumes Perfumes. So these are perfumes that might remind you of uh, the Middle East, perhaps, or the Far East. Cardamom is a really common ingredient in these. And also things like oud would be falling into an oriental category. Santa Lucia have their everyday fragrance. This has cardamom in, violet leaves, and a cedarwood base. So you get this oriental cardamom, but it's also quite fresh, I think. I think sometimes cardamom can be quite heavy and almost like an edible smell. This here is quite fresh. Perhaps it's the violet leaves bringing this up. I can see why this one's called everyday because it is very much like you could just wear this during the day and it would be appropriate for whatever it was you were doing weekend or daytime at work. It's It's got a freshness to it. The other type of oriental perfumes would be ones that have a heavy oud in. So oud is the, um, like a sap from a tree. It's very, very heavy, very sort of incense-y. It's often used with incense in a fragrance and those would be classed as like heavy orientals. There's plenty of examples of these. You know, Tom Ford have an oud. Most brands have an oud somewhere. I've done a video on female oud perfumes. Oud is quite an expensive fragrance ingredient. So these tend to be in the more pricier categories. Cool, so that's my rundown guys. Like I said, I have left all the links to these down below, including the new Santa Lucia one, and I have a discount code for you guys there. It's just Sophie. Um, I've left all that information down below in the description. So that's it guys. So let me know what your favorite fragrances are for men. Let me know if this video was useful, helpful. Get involved in the comments down below. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.